Vidak Radimnich is the founder of the Beryl Consulting Group, a firm that specializes in providing hedge fund due diligence and portfolio construction to institutional investors. Mr. Radimnich has over 15 years of experience in selecting hedge fund managers. As an expert in investments and geopolitical arenas, he has been widely quoted in the financial press and is a regular guest on several TV business channels. VDOC's passion of global financial markets extends to the music and entertainment world. He has produced many shows and performs at some of the most respected music venues in New York City. Vidak Rajanich also advises award-winning entrepreneurial producers in a process of establishing global media franchises. In order to be successful, one needs to have an edge, an ability to think outside the traditional confines. For example, I have been playing an instrument, a classic guitar, for decades, and I can certainly attest to the importance that art brings to the world of alternative investments. In my opinion, art is finance, and vice versa, finance is art. Many studies have shown that music enhances one's mind. Here I'm alluding to puzzle-solving mind, a mind that results in a disciplined investor or a trader. In fact, the most recent research by neuroscience has confirmed that the discipline required for practicing an instrument strengthens visual, auditory, and motor processes. It improves the highway of the brain's two hemispheres. It increases the speed through which information crosses the brain. Musicians can also store and retrieve memories faster than non-musicians. They can also see and hear patterns others can learn. For example, playing guitar requires a similar discipline like successful investing and trading. It requires attention to detail, repetition, and pattern recognition. When I'm playing, the music gives me balance and harmony. A sort of needed meditation for someone deeply immersed in global financial markets. So what are similarities between music and investing? Successful investors are good in math, but follow sensitivities, balance sheets, risk sensitivities, options and future prices are all mathematical operations. Similarly, people that have competencies in music are also good in math. This is not surprising because music is based in math. Conceptually, investing is thought by some to apply order to caps. Isn't that what composers do when they take individual notes and create concertos, operas, jazz ballads and pop music? 